everybody i'm making this this pattern over here with this beautiful fabric from my store we have a challenge right now where i'm willing to give six years of fabric to someone for free if you make that pattern with any of my fabrics so in response to the challenge i'm making this also this is my second time doing this the first time i made it without the grommets that you see but this time around i decided to do the right thing not like it's the wrong thing but i usually love to hack my patterns but this time around i decided to go the extra mile. so i got this grommet tool on amazon and i want to show you a little bit of what is inside this is the one this is a kit that comes um with everything you need and then the tool you get to do it immediately like there is a one where you have to use the hammer and do all of that but who has time for that so i got the whole thing <laughs> I got this one. I just sim simply put, punch the hole and be done with it. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of the process. I have already gone ahead to do one side of it, um, one side like that. I want to do the rest while explaining a few things. So first of all, so that I'm sure I get the right spacing, I did do some measurements. Uh, I did my two and a half inches apart. And then to be sure they're on the same line i went in by half an inch from the neckline so that they are all this going to be uniform so you see this one so you need to take measurements okay so you don't just randomly put stuff randomly you need it to be arranged so i did mine half an inch apart this is the back of the one that's already installed this is my interfacing and then Two and a half inches apart and half an inch away from the edge so you see my my markings here and then what you just do is um get your tool so these are the stuff that came with it one is for the top one is for the bottom you get the little one um, and place it inside so it does show you there's a little curve underneath so you need your this side of your grommet to be on the side that curves under it so that it stays flat on the tool and then the other side this one also you put it on there like that so i suspect that this tool has a little magnetic um, pull going on because it kind of stays and I tried to shake it to see if it would go off it didn't go off after putting it it stays in place so it's easier to just control it and not have it wiggling around and I think that's kind of cool so now we have it in there we just need to put it on the spot so because of my measurements already I know where those two points meet half an inch away is this spot and two and a half inches apart is this spot so there's a little cross over here and that's where i will put my um put the two ads try to center it on that spot and there it goes right there is where i have my marking so we just punch do it two times so that everything so the other times i tried it sometimes the entire fabric didn't go off and it's happening again so i still have the fabric over there then sometimes it doesn't tear all through but i suspect it's also because of my interfacing so it's a little tougher to go through or maybe it's the tool itself i don't know but it does do the job so i'm just trimming off the excess take off the fabric out still looks neat this is the back and this is the the front let me do one more show you one more time so this does make the process a lot easier and i think grommets are fun i will be making some more projects with grommets um i wish i could find the bigger ones on amazon i would have considering making some curtains but i'll see they are bigger grommets but they don't come in two like this you have to do the hammering and all of that so i'll see about that but then with this small one we can also do some fun 
projects just have fun play around with the tool and with fabric and all that cool stuff okay so my second one is right around here put that and i want to make it parallel so that everything punches out at the same time and here we go boom this is fun i have to make sure my kids do not see this because we'll be punching everything and that's not right so again i still have some excess my fabric like the, it cut through the fabric but it didn't completely cut through it maybe my interface The first time I did this though, it did take everything out. I hope the, the tool is not getting blunt already on me. Because I just got this, okay? I'm not done playing. <laughs> so, finally, the last one. Same thing, same process. Put it on the top, the bottom, and then the top it stays in place. And we do the final punching. Still there, but this one went off a little more better. But well, use my scissors to take it completely off. Hi, mommy. Right. Close the door, Deborah. So there we have it. Go. No, Deborah, I'm doing something now. Just give me a minute. Close the door. Close the door. So now we have fixed everything. This is it. It's a very easy to make pattern. I encourage you to try it. Uh, especially if you have my fabric, you want to dis dis stash or use your stash, this is something to try it for this month. You'll be able to um, get in on two different challenges at the same time. But if not, buy, buy my fabric and try this pattern and get in the running to win fabric. So this is how it looks. So you could use um, shoelace kind of arrangement or, or rope or whatever. I'm using a little bias tape really tiny one I'm gonna run this through and I'll style it when I'm done so I just wanted to show you a little bit about how the grommets work and a little of what I was doing playing with my new tool hope this was helpful let me know if you are joining the challenge this is a final result I like it and I love this fabric too so this post is going to double as the fabric spotlight of the day look at this gorgeous piece with elephants african elephants and african dancers with the talking drum we call this a talking drum um and dancing <laughs>